right, here we're going to look at non-detachable stock warrants that are attached to debt security, namely bonds. And what we mean by these non-detachable stock warrants is that they are attached to the bond and they can't be sold separate from the bond. So they are traded with the bond here. Now with these non-detachable stock warrants, uh, you're given the uh, opportunity to buy a specified number of shares of common stock of the company at a specified price. So when we're looking at these non-detachable stock warrants, we're going to look at them as a uh, debt to equity exchange. Uh, Okay, let's look at an example here of these non-detachable stock warrants that are attached to these bonds. And we're going to do it on a conceptual basis just to show how they would be recorded on the balance sheet conceptually between the debt converted to equity here. So for our example here we have bonds that sell at market at $9,900 each and they have one detachable warrant. And one warrant gives the uh, bondholder the opportunity to purchase 10 shares of the company stock $10 par at $37 per share. And our total shares outstanding here we have 100 bonds times 10 shares per bond or 1,000 shares. So when we issue this bond here we recognize the entire amount of the bond plus the attached or non-detachable warrant here, warranty as part of uh, debt here as this bonds payable. Uh, these uh, warrants are not separately uh, recognized as uh, equity amount here. There's no uh, equity amount in them at this point. Because these bonds here, uh, if they're not converted or not, uh, the warrant is not exercised, we still have to pay for these bonds. So they maintain them as a liability amount here. Just for example here, we issued these bonds and we, they were for uh, $99,000 here and we received $101,000 for them. So the $99,000 included the bond plus those attached stock warrants. Okay, let's look at the example here where 50% of these non-detachable stock warrants were exercised. And we're going to be looking at it here in terms of a debt for equity swap here on those bonds. And any of the proceeds exercised on those exercised warrants are recognized as equity here not as cash but as equity. Now there may be other examples where this can be set up differently but conceptually here what we're looking at here is any of the uh, proceeds that we have on these uh, exercise warrants are recognized here as equity in the company. So in our example here we would uh, convert 50% uh, of the uh, warrants here and that includes 50% of these bonds payable. So we'd reduce our bonds payable by in this case $49,500. And then going over here and recognize our equity amounts we would have in this case 500 shares at $10 par value per share or $5,000 here in our common stock par amount here. And then the remaining balance uh, between the debit and the credit here would go to additional paid in capital to the warrant. So and that would be for $4,500. And I broke it down here where we have these 500 shares that were purchased here at $37 per share and that amounts to $18,500. Then we had this $5,000 power amount here. So the balance uh, would be the $26,000 here. That total amount uh, comes up here to uh, $49,500, which balances with the uh, bonds payable debit amount here of $49,500. So what I'm trying to show here is that when we these warrants are exercised, their rec the any of the uh, proceeds on them go into uh, the equity account here, and I'm just showing here where you had a debt for equity swap here on those bonds as well. Okay, let's summarize these non-detachable stock warrants that are attached to debt securities or bonds. So when we issue the bond here with the non-detachable stock warrant, the entire amount here of that issue is recognized as a liability. That includes the bond plus the stock warrants. And then when we when these stock warrants are exercised, we are looking at this as a debt to 
equity conversion here, where the any of the proceeds from these stock warrants are recognized as equity in the company and not as a cash asset here, but as equity in the company. So in summary, um, the non-detachable stock warrants stick with the bonds and their a liability here at the issue of the bonds. And then when they're converted, we look at them as convertible debt or convertible bonds in this case. And we recognize the proceeds here as an equity uh, of the company here. We transfer the debt here to equity in the company.